Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with Oxygen Not Included, the pyramid base with the uh, occupational upgrade. Since the last episode, about, uh, I think, 40 cycles has elapsed. I've done some stuff off camera. I'll just take you through it. Um, so I set up some kind of water cooling up here. So we're tapped into this geyser here. Got a pump in there, a minute of gold, so it doesn't melt with some... Uh, Pressure threshold. So if the pressure is over one kilogram, this thing will pump. That just prevents it from pumping all the time if the water level gets too low. And we've got a bisolite pipe going over to a valve. Now some hot water is going into this electrolyzer. And, oh, I have it disabled. Oh no, <laughs> that's the old one. So it used to be here. I moved it up here so it's closer to this pump. So this is pumping out oxygen and hydrogen, and the hydrogen is heading down, 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 down to this nullifier here, which is cooling the area right down. And I've got some pressure regulation here, uh, only activate if the pressure goes over 500 grams. So the hydrogen goes down to keep this nullifier cold. It's at minus 20 or so. And then there's a separate pipe with a valve here. And this hot water is going down. It's all wolframite pipe along here. Let's just check this pipe here. Yeah, wolframite, which is good. It's basically uh, releasing all its heat out into the ice biome. Goes into this uh, nullifier room, which is full of hydrogen and gets cooled down. So it's going in at 58 or so. It's coming out at 40. And then it keeps going all the way down, down here. Down, down, down. And it's kind of down to about 8 degrees by the time it gets here. It goes through a little wheezewort room here that's full of hydrogen. Comes out at 7. Actually, that's not doing much. Interesting. So it keeps going along here. Now I've dismantled my, this used to be my cold water, hot water area. So I was pumping in hot water, uh, doing ice blocks and stuff to cool it down, a bunch of wheeze warts, but it was just getting too warm. So I dismantled this, replaced it with this other system up here, which is working pretty well. We got water coming in at by the time it gets to the grow room, it's at eight degrees. So that's nice and chilly, perfect for our plants, bristle blossoms. So that's feeding this chunk, this, these two rows here. And I've set up another system down below to feed these two rows and the plants in the base here. And that's down here. And this is, this could power, or this could feed all of our plants. Uh, so, but, I kind of have both systems working now. So this is a very basic setup. Five aqua tuners in series, so we send in water at 95 degrees. This knocks off 14 degrees each time, and the water coming out is at 25, which is perfect for bristle blossom. Now this, you would think, would use a tremendous amount of power, but it's not running all the time. It's kind of intermittent, as you can see. And if we look at the power drain on our system here, you can kind of see, let me speed things up. You can kind of see the batteries fill up and then kind of get drained and fill up and drain and in kind of a cycle. So there they, are. there they go, they're getting drained right now. And then back up again. And if we look at our max power, consumed, produced. So we can spike up to eight kilowatts. And it says producing zero, but once it kicks on, so we're producing 9.2 when it's on. So it seems to be working just fine. These also kick on, these petroleum generators, and that's coming from this petroleum here. Still making our plastic. Now someone requested a longer episode, so this one's gonna be Closer to an hour or so, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I have this one disabled. Now, why did I do that? I forget. 
Our polluted water is running a bit low due to this, I think, pinch of pepper nut. This is actually consuming quite a bit of water. Now, eventually we'll run out of phosphorite and we'll have to shut this down, but for now we'll keep it running. Oh, I think I disabled this so that the petroleum generators would take over, because they produce more polluted water. We could also set up more showers that would produce more polluted water, but it would make the dupes just be busy in the shower more. So I do have quite a few projects I want to do in this episode. Um, I want to play around with mushrooms. We have kind of ideal growing conditions for mushrooms in this little area right here. And we have slime being produced down here by our puffs. And they're getting polluted oxygen from this water. I should probably crack in here as well, get them to eat that. But I want to disable this algae distiller. We gotta let some people in to do that. Oops. Let them in, disable this, and I'm gonna set up some conveyors to bring the slime out and send it up here for mushroom growing. So let's uh, let's start on that. Uh, we need conveyor rails. We already have an in. Oh, this is our outbox. We need an inbox that can reach this arm. Hmm. We can put it up here. I think that'll work. So we need a loader. Stick that there. And we're gonna need some rails. Let's use iron. Got lots of iron. Oh, and this has I, this has to go through tile, I think. Otherwise, um, the slime will give off its gas. So we need to set up some tiles here. Let's get rid of this lure. Actually, that's kind of doing some important work. Hmm. It's keeping these guys around here, but it's also eating slime. Hmm. We could replace this with a uh, tile. I think I'll do that. Oh, then the tile is gonna, or then the slime is gonna fall here. It's gonna be out of the reach of the arm. Hmm. Gotta think about this a bit here. Or we could move the arm up, or have two arms. Don't have a whole lot of power though. Let's build the conveyor first and see what happens here. Let's cancel that. Now there's, they're just going to go in there, run in there and get slime. Oh geez. I got to turn these off. Disable. Disable. Let's just let everyone in. There are germs in there. Let's see. But not much. A thousand per tile. They'll survive. So we'll get that built. Oh, they're picking up plastic. <laughs> Make this a nine. Hopefully they do it. So we'll get a rail going. We'll do it along here. Oh, actually, I don't want gold. I want iron. Actually, we have equal amounts. Let's go up this way. I think we can go through doors. Yep. And this will be our mushroom area. What's the temperature like right here? 30. That's good. We'll put a receptacle right here, gold's fine. And this will just be like a little test run, so we'll try farm tiles, 
Priority seven. We could build them in here like this. That probably makes more sense. We'll just try five and see how it goes. And we're gonna need power. And we're not using all the power here, so we can extend that. Use iron. And we're gonna need an auto sweeper that's in range of all this food plus the receptacle. Stick it right there, I guess. Someone wanted to see one of these built on camera, so here we go. And fungal spore. Plant a bunch of those. Now hopefully this works. They're picking up coal, they're picking up fungal spore. <laughs> they're not building anything. Oh, we need power up there as well. Okay. Iron. There we go. So that's disabled. Now, really, I should extend this uh, floor along here so that we capture more of the poop. And this arm can work through walls, I think. At least through airflow tiles. What are they going in there for? They're picking up tiny bits of slime. Where are they taking that slime? Wherever they're taking it, we have to disable it. Oh, I think she already dropped it. Where is she going with that slime? Does she have it? She dropped it. <laughs> The other, the other project I want to get going is a water lock here. So we can store germy things and stuff in here. Now I've never actually built a water lock in my entire life, even in debug. So that'll be a new experience. Um, hopefully I get it right here. We'll use granite. I've seen them, I've seen them built. So, hmm. I'm trying to visualize what they look like here. So we go like this. Basically, I need a little trough of water. That's too high. I don't need it that high. I think it can just be like this. And then a bottle opener, or bottle emptier, facing this way. So we'll dribble a bunch, a little bit of water in here. Now does it have to be two tiles? Uh, I can't remember, I think so. But I think we put a tile on top and the water just kind of sticks to it. So, I learned from uh, Life Groski, a little tip here, to speed things up, you can use crude oil in the bottom tile, and then since two different liquids can't occupy the same tile at once, even, a tiny, even one gram of crude oil in this tile would be enough, and then you drop in clean water here, and we'll get two tiles of liquid now, can we do this? I'm not sure if we can draw this tile yet or not. Guess we'll find out. Like I said, first time ever making them.
Let's make this nine. <laughs> okay, will this drain with that tile there? Enable auto bottling, that's what we're missing. Hopefully someone will get us some oil. Is this reachable? Yeah, it's reachable. Here comes someone. Whoa, way too much. Way too much. Now, why did that not work? I think this tile is actually in the way. Okay, let's mop this up. So maybe you put this tile in after. So we've got a little bit of liquid there. Maybe we switch to water now. Now will that just spill over? Maybe we need to dig this first. Actually, let's take that off. Hmm. So they'll go, if we put a tile here, I think they're just too high. Okay, let's put a tile here. I probably should have tested this before showing you guys on camera. But I think they kind of work like this. So water. I don't know if I have a fresh water bottle getter anywhere. Let's put one down here so they can actually get it. Oops. that. I need a pitch pump. Got some lag going on here. Well, we're waiting for that. Let's, uh, do some, oh, we can't, jobs will pause everything. So let's move some people over in their jobs. So Bert, we'll move over here. We're just leveling them up through all the skills. Rowan. And Frankie. Now these guys all courier. They can all become exosuits of Lyria. Liam and Ellie. Let's take Liam off first. There we go. Oh, and these two will move over. Max and Meep. Okay, that's all done. These cooks will move over, so Abe and Bubbles. And Gene on art. It's going to be hard to scroll here. Uh, yeah, that works. Boom, the mech will just leave on. These two will just leave for now. Okay, someone get some water. Well, someone has to make the pump first. There we go. Where is he going? Okay, good. So I think that worked. 
Let's take this off. Mop up the excess. I didn't think it would be so messy. But I think that's going to achieve what we want. Stick a tile here. Yeah, as long as that liquid stays there, I think they can duck underneath and get in there. My first water lock. It looks kind of ugly. It doesn't look nice like everyone else's water locks. I'm worried if I mop this, it's going to drain out. Let's see. E, should I? Now, I used to think that chlorine gas was consumed while it killed germs, but that's not the case, apparently. Okay, that worked. Now, if I clean this tile, will it drain out? I don't want to try. It's not hurting anything. We'll leave that little bit there. So we could potentially store food in here and it would stay sterile. This is kind of working over here. This is all CO2, so this is all sterile, so that's okay. We don't have an actual use for this yet. They're getting the sopping wet debuff every time. That's the only reason I haven't used these to date. Sopping wet plus 20% per cycle stress. Jeez. Yeah, not my favorite thing, but it does keep the chlorine gas in, which is good. Okay, how is our other little project going over here? They haven't built... Oh, they can't build it. That's why... My bad. Let's do eight. I think they've been picking up little tiny bits of slime. I have no idea where they're taking it. Oh, they're putting it in the plants. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's terrible. Maybe if we set these priority one, they won't do it. Oh, there's a, how, where did the shine bug come from? He wasn't here before. We gotta lure him over somewhere. Okay, food, aerial creature lure. Where should we take him? Let's take him over this way. Maybe we can box him in or something. There they go. But they haven't built any of this lower stuff. Let's make that all eight. So they actually do it. And power. And we have to select slime for this. So yeah, this is, oh, contents none. Oh, I think it's in the network now. Nope, maybe it just disappeared in here. Sublimates. Yeah, it's shrinking fast while it's sitting in there. Hmm. Can it get enough to deliver it? Oh, it needs it needs the other end built first. That's why it's not working. That's done. This will be done in a second here. Now, can they build that through there? Yeah, it's working.
I think we should have built it through this tile, though. Priority nine. <laughs> oh, do we have slime in here? Or oh, coal, algae? There it moves. It's moving. It's moving. Okay, we got. I could see the contents. Okay, contents empty. Oh, it's working. It's working. I think. Let's see. Okay, those are empty. I think it's losing its its slime as it goes along here. So let's instead of rebuilding it, we'll just do this priority nine. that. Now it might might lose a bit along there. But we can get rid of these ladders. Replace them with tiles. But I think it's working. Oh, and this shine bug. We gotta set this, set this to phosphorite. Get the shine bug over there. Come on, shine bug. Come this way. Ooh, that looks really weird. The coal is just sitting in the in the air like that. Maybe we should kill the shine bug. We can't kill such a nice creature. Maybe we can trap him. No. Maybe this thing isn't close enough. Oh. No. Come on this way. Come this way. Maybe we need to build a couple of them. Get his attention. So it's, it's kind of working. It's delivering the slime. To these. Probably not going to edit this episode at all. I'm just going to going to do the raw footage, see how things go. It's a lot slower when you're when you don't edit out all the building parts. <laughs> but that is kind of working. I should probably put the conveyor through this tile instead. It'd be cool if the conveyor could go directly into the tiles. That would be awesome. So let's replace these tiles here. And then we'll replace those three. And we could go over the top here. And that way we wouldn't be uh, having any sublimation. See how that goes. I think it's kind of working though. How much more can we reach here? I can put it three more. Oh, our shine bug came over. Good. Let's get rid of this. And we gotta trap the shine bug. He won't stay there forever. Maybe we can get him in the base. That would be ideal. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that statue. 
Can we fit this thing in here? Let's get rid of the statue. Temporarily. Put a creature lure there. Take out some tiles. We're going to vent a bunch of oxygen when we do that, but that's okay. Put the creature lure there. And hopefully we can pull him into the base. Come on. Let's, oh, turn this off. Oh, wait. We need this built first. And more dust caps. Farm tile. Now we could potentially make a row up here. Even along here, that might work. I think the dupes will still be able to run through. Wow, it's delivering the clay? Let's try that. I think it'll work. There we go. Some of the mini mini mushroom farm. And let's cha change our conveyor slightly here. So we'll go this way instead. Oh, we're going to still have a few tiles where it's open. And we'll get rid of these conveyor rails here. I think that'll work. Okay, that was one project. Uh, I wanted to make these all dining rooms and make more bedrooms over here. I kind of wanted to extend the pyramid down as well. That's oxygen here. Not great, but I, I want to kind of extend this down. Let's just take a look how it will look. Uh, Vistalite, priority seven. So the one, one will be there, then there, there, there. Get rid of this ladder. And then we're into the chlorine room, which I don't really want to do just yet. Now we could use our chlorine geyser. Oh, there's another thing I want to do. Turn on combat. Actually, everyone doesn't need to be on combat. Maybe just Ada. And get rid of this Morb. We don't need him in there making nastiness. Wow, she's waking up to do that. He's gone. Now we can get another deodorizer in here. clean up this nasty air, then we can extend in here. So we need a tile there. And maybe we'll just extend down. This will become a bedroom, I guess. Get rid of this airlock, it's not really doing anything for us anymore. I think this will be safe to do. Take this out. Now I guess the next floor will be three high instead of our regular four. I think this was here for our rotten food. Move that down, get rid of this, get rid of that. Oh, how's the heat here? Pretty warm. Maybe we'll leave that wheeze board. 
Oh, they can't reach that. I think they can get there, maybe? Yep. Yeah. Now this exosuit dock room, it's kind of in the way of everything. I didn't think... Uh, <laughs> I didn't think the pyramid would go this low. I don't know how many more dupes we're going to take on anyway. Okay, let's fix this thing. Phosphorite. Leave that off. There we go. Phosphor oh, come on. Come on in. Come on in. Now, are we going to be able to trap him? <laughs> let's try. Let's try our best. I should have put it maybe over here. Oh, he's out. This will require precise timing. <laughs> this is priority nine and no one is building. Okay, here we go. Can we do it? Now. Do it. Do it. Priority nine, do it. Come on. No. Come back in. Come back in. <laughs> oh. And then they went to sleep. <laughs> okay, how is this working? Atmosphere. Where did all our CO2 go? This was all CO2 before. What the heck? Did it all fall in here? Interesting. Now we can pump CO2 in there, make a proper grow room. We're going to need an airlock or two. Probably should use a water lock, but okay, so we'll put an airlock there. Airlock here. And fill this with CO2. Okay, did we get him? Oh no, we trapped him in the tile. He's in there. He's in the tile. Is he dying? Okay, let's try that again. I think he knows what we're trying to do. <laughs> oh, wait. It worked. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this. Now, hopefully he doesn't get out. Maybe we should keep him there. Which phosphorite does that thing use? Okay, oh, he can escape here. Actually, it's okay if he gets out to the left. We just didn't want him in this area. Oh, now we can't get in there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, CO2. We have a supply of CO2 down here. We could pump some of that up. Let's use... Uh, how hot is this? Let's use Abyssalite just to be careful. Up here, our, our cast tiles are getting kind of cramped. We'll go over this way. Come up here. And vent it. Oops. Vent it here, I guess. Right there. Oh, did I do that all priority nine? Oops. That's probably a bit too much, but that's okay. I think this ran out of slime, so they've all moved. As long as it gets some of it, that's okay. Now we can make this area even even dirtier for them. But I've blocked them out of here. Okay, let's uh Oh, that'll be fine. They're 
probably not making a whole lot of slime because there's not a lot of fluid water exposed here. I think I capped this here so that they couldn't go down. We'll just leave that running like that. We don't really need the mushrooms. I just wanted to try the experiment, get the conveyor going, see if it worked. I don't think they're, this thing's picking up any slime anymore though. They're not producing anymore. Good healthy leg we got there. Hmm. Let's dig this out. Oh, they're getting slime. I'm going in there anyway. Oh, it would be cool if we could reach it from that. Gonna go Jeremy in there. Put a deodorizer. Actually they'll they'll just feed the plants. That'll be good. We can strip mine this strip mine this down. Kinda as we go. Get rid of all this slime. Feed it to the mushrooms. That'll be good. Oh this deodorizer on is on top. What am I doing? Oh yeah, where's our CO2? Is it coming in now? Little bits. Little squirts. That's good enough. It'll fill up. Put that deodorizer down here. Let's stick it. Let's stick it here. Actually... <laughs> Let's stick it right here. And any air that gets through up to here, it'll get cleaned. Okay, how's the water situation up here? It's down to three degrees. Oh wow, it's getting a bit cold. If it gets any cooler, it's gonna start freezing. Four degrees. Maybe we should put some regulation on this so that this thing doesn't get too cold because that's where all the cooling's happening. Going in at 59, coming out at 34. Actually, most of the cooling is happening along here. 15, wow. So cold in here. 4.6, 3.4. Maybe we should bypass this or put some regulation on here. This actually doesn't have automation itself, but we could put a gas valve based on... Okay, let's do this. Uh, temperature gauge, thermal sensor in here. And it will control a gas shutoff valve. Gas shut off. So we'll do this, we'll go into the gas shut off over here like that. Disconnect this. And we'll only let it get so cold so that our water doesn't freeze. And some automation wire. This connected to this.
Now, are they allowed in there? Nope. Let's allow them in so they can build that. All that, all that hydrogen under pressure is going to escape. But that's okay. Now you get to watch them build it. Actually, we'll come back. We'll come back when that's done. Because that's not no fun to watch. I think I hooked it all up properly. Let's just set the uh, switch before they're done here. We'll say if temperature... I want to shut off if the temperature... Below, let's do minus five. See how that works. Sorry, activate if below. Why do these always confuse me? Oh, this thing needs power anyway. The missing ingredient. Oh, we don't have any power in, in range. Okay, come down here. Why can't I figure this out? I'm having a brain fart here. Um, we want it active if we go below minus five. Yeah, that's right. And it is. So it should be green. But it is not. Whoa. Got all warm in here. Things are melting. Okay, we'll let them finish that. We'll go check out some other things while that's being done. How's our little mushroom farm going? Oh, look at all this polluted oxygen in here. Full of germs already. Nasty. Nasty, nasty. Okay, we need one of these deodorizers right in there. They're not not—they're not getting this slime. Everyone's allowed in. Oh, they, they don't need slime right now, I guess. Oh, our first uh, mushroom was harvested just there. Okay, we'll let that work its magic. Oh, they're gonna get sick going in there. That's nasty in there. Nasty, Bill. How many germs are in Liam now? 19,000. Yikes. Okay, we'll have to keep a close eye on their immunity. Now I did want to move the bedrooms around, so let's put a let's put a thing in here. I kind of don't like how this is three tiles high and this is everything else has been four because we can't get as much decor in there. Hmm. You know what? I might move the showers. That's already all piped in. This is going to bug me a lot. Okay. I guess we'll just do do three high since everything is also three high. Now they're going to get trapped in here if I do this. So we'll do that and hopefully they don't get their heads stuck in the... head stuck in the stuff. Get rid of these.
And we do want uh, airflow. Can they reach that stuff? Let's just finish this and hope for the best. I think they might get stuck. Okay, how are we doing for polluted water? Oh, I feel like it's going down. All this pinch pepper. Now I've been taking all the toilet and shower water and putting it in here. It's all draining in here, it's all 40 degrees. I just noticed this is going down. Going down quite a bit actually. Entombed, ah, I knew it. Frankie. There's two people stuck in there. Okay. Let's try that again. And we'll build another floor down here. Whoa. Can't draw a straight line. Okay. And then we can get rid of all this. Extending the pyramid. Yeah, we can get rid of this little lip here. There's no water in the way. So I think I'll make a bedroom in here. Oh, we forgot to put our statue back. We gotta put that back. Sculpting block. So those are three high. We could actually put those between the beds. Get a bit of decor that way. Get rid of this ladder, it's in the way, that's in the way. And put some beds in. Okay, comfy bed. We can move it over one once this is all taken out. They're getting so fast. It's crazy. Okay, one more tile there. And we're gonna need airflow. So let's do that. Airflow, priority eight, iron. Let's make them look the same. Could probably use even more. I'm doing them every two, so. Except where I'm not, haha. <laughs> Let all that CO2 out. I think that'll all work. All the CO2 should fall down here. Oh, oxygen's actually coming down here now. Let's put our food in here. Let's put our food in the chlorine. I think that'll work nicely. Put a little ladder here. And put some fridges. That should kill all the germs. Oh, it's getting so laggy. I'm not even sure I'm recording while the cycle changes over. Okay, we'll do that. We'll get all the food in there. And we'll extend this pyramid down. Now, this water looks like it's running really low, so let's tie into this. Get a gold pump in there. Got no power here. How much power is on this line? Two kilowatts already. Oh, but hardly any is being consumed, so. I think it's safe if we do this. Or oh, we're running low on metal. 
Might need to bring, bring the refinery back online. It used to be here. I cut rid of it. Invalid construction location. Yes. Now hopefully they don't exhale in here. But it'll be okay if they do. Okay, let's uh, copy these settings. And priority 8. Get rid of these. There we go, new food storage. And with the water lock, it should stay all chlorine. But if they exhale in here, then there might be some CO2, which is also okay. And we might as well go three levels. Store all that delicious food. We could even go four levels. Now it's okay that the bleach stone is gassing off chlorine because we want chlorine in here anyway. We got some stress. We actually have some stress. Okay, let's put a bed in there. Comfy bed. And leave room for statues in between. And I think that'll be a good size. This ladder is in the way. That's not a very big bedroom. Any room for a door there? This be a smallish bedroom. Well, they really love their suits. What are they doing down there? What is everyone doing? No idea. Now I used to be sending this 95 degree polluted water down here, but it just got way too hot. That's why I'm sieving it and sticking it down here. In fact, let's get that pump going, that pipe going. Abyssalite. Abyssalite up here. Hmm. I just realized we don't have to cool this water. Because it's already at 40 degrees. So the hot water is going to our sinks and stuff. We could just hop over here and bridge into here. Or tie directly in. If we tie directly in, I think it'll work. So that way we're pulling from the geyser, we're also pulling from here. That way this will never get overflowing. We'll actually start using it. Some water is going down here, getting cooled, going back up for our food. It's all good. Still coming at 25 degrees. Now how hot is this area? Oh, I didn't quite ex- Oh no, the oil, oil level is dropping. Our slicksters are not keeping up. That's not good. They're not getting enough CO2. Hmm. Might have to drop this whole operation down. Or we could release this oil. It's really cold. It would probably kill the slicksters. Hmm. Do we have any more oil that we could release from above? We can release this up here. That would work. Okay, let's build a little lip here. Little wall, contain this, raise the level. They can get over there and then we'll go up here. 
I think igneous rock is fine. Actually, yeah, igneous rock is perfect. Go up there. We'll dig all this out so the oil... Oh, we need a lip here too. Like that. Okay, that way the oil will... Oh, actually, this needs to be sealed. Actually, no, it doesn't. Actually, the oil's not going to flow over this lip. What was I thinking? Okay, I gotta change the plan a bit here. So we'll go down like this. Dig this out. That's also not going to work. We'll push the oil up. Once we have this lip here, we'll push it up. And we'll try to get all this flowing down over here. Got a bunch of polluted water in here, which is no good. Very little though. There's only like two kilograms. So that's okay. We could liberate this oil. I should probably put a lip here as well. Like that. And then we can try to preserve this level here. What the heck? Broken. What's going on? Oh no. So why are we getting too cold in here? What? Cold damage? Oh no, are we feeding in the wrong water? What have I done here? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's going in a circle and some cold water is coming through. Oh geez. Okay. Hmm. Let's kill that for now. That's really bad. We only want 95 degree water going in there. Okay. I think we need a bridge to force it to go the right direction. We'll do this up here. Like that. I think that'll force it to flow this way, maybe. Definitely don't want it going in a circle. Oh, that's confused already. <sighs> Yeah, it's going to just go both ways here. Oh, actually. That is actually okay, as long as this water coming out here is 95 again. Yeah, that's good. I think that'll work. As long as it doesn't backflow. I think we're good. Oh, we have plastic floating in the air here. Oh, that's in the conveyor. <laughs> that might be a bug, I'm not sure. Okay, let them repair that. Okay, 95. This is back to normal. Okay. This episode is getting... Uh, it's over an hour now, so I'm going to wrap it up. I've got quite a few projects done. I'll deal with this maybe off camera. Get some oil down here. Get our oil level back up. But one thing I wanted to describe here is that... These aqua tuners are making this oil really hot, so it's like an 85 versus like 75 here. But then we're pumping it out right near it, so it's nice and hot. So we're getting rid of that hot oil, and we're destroying it up here in the oil refinery. So 
So hope you guys enjoyed that. That's more of a raw, non-edited version, which some people don't like because you get to see all the things being built slowly. But I tried to jump around with my projects so that we weren't just standing there watching, watching the paint dry. We've got our little conveyor system here set up. And it's working, so we got another source of food. I don't know how many um, mushrooms we can support with these puffs, but I guess we'll find out over time. We need more CO2 in here as well. So let me know what you think I should do next in the kind of project. I might extend these bedrooms out and fix this mess hall off camera. And I might start refining more metal because I want to turn the pyramid into metal to give it tons of decor and make it look really awesome. But we still have more to go down here, get this hydrogen out. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.